So you want to learn cybersecurity, but here's the problem. There are hundreds of cybersecurity training providers. Is try hack me better than hack the box? Or should you do CEH? And what about CompTIA Security Plus and CISSP? And the sad thing is there are training providers that are making false promises of guaranteed six-figure cybersecurity jobs. Now I understand this confusion really well because back in the early 2000s when I was starting out, I didn't have any mentors or roadmaps. Instead, all I had was internet forums and massive books that were outdated by the time they were published. Now, what made the biggest difference for me was when I discovered training courses. I put my head down and have done literally hundreds of them throughout the years. And after wasting so much time and money on training courses, I was able to narrow down the useful one that teaches critical skills that the cybersecurity market is looking for which has led hundreds of individuals from all over the world who watches my video to land their first cybersecurity job. Now to save you time and money, if I had to pick only five training providers to get myself from the absolute zero all the way to landing my first cybersecurity job and progressing to becoming a senior cybersecurity professionals, then the following training providers will be the only one that I will look at. Now before some people get upset, yes, you can do other cybersecurity training courses. Yes, other good ones do exist. However, from my experience, experience, I believe the following five training providers that I'm going to share with you in this video will give you the biggest bang for your buck in terms of learning, gaining practical skills that will lead you to cybersecurity employment. Starting with the first training provider, which is Coursera. And to be more specific, the Google Cybersecurity Cert. This is the starting point that I recommend for pretty much anyone who doesn't have any technical cybersecurity skills. It will ease you into the cybersecurity world, it will give you all the foundational knowledge, and it will also give you 30% discount to do the CompTIA Security Plus if you want to do that later. And the other good thing is Coursera as a platform has so many other training courses. So I see people who do Google Cybersecurity Cert, then they go on and do other stuff. Now, of course, the quality of the courses vary. But if I was to choose one entry level certificate as a starting point, I will choose the Google Cybersecurity Cert because it's really affordable and it's a good introduction to the cybersecurity world. They also do a lot of discounts. So keep an eye on the links on the description box below for any discounts that they offer. Now, once you exit that beginner stage, the next logical step for you is to start getting serious about practical hands-on skills. Cybersecurity is not a theoretical field. You can't multiple choice exams your way into a job. And even if somehow you manage to land an interview, if all you've done is theoretical stuff, I'm sorry, you're not gonna pass the interview. It takes all of five seconds for someone like me to know whether you have the skills or not. Therefore, I recommend beginners to quickly start tackling practical problems. And for that, the next platform that I recommend is Try Hack Me. Now, Try Hack Me is actually a massive platform. They have challenge rooms and they have certifications. What I recommend beginners to do is to actually do their flagship certification, which is Try Hack Me SAL1. Now, yes, it is entry level. However, it is not easy you'll actually need to work hard for it because within that certification, you'll actually get to work with a simulated security operation center environment where you get to detect and analyze cybersecurity attacks. And this is exactly what we do in the real world and cybersecurity. And trust me when I tell you this, these are the stuff that we ask about in cybersecurity interviews. Now, there is a crucial mistake that I see a lot of beginners make when they use a platform like TryHackMe. You'll see them on LinkedIn saying that they are top 1% in TryHackMe, which is totally fine by the way, but the problem that I see is that some beginners spend all their time doing try hack me capture the flag rooms. Yes, capture the flag is fine. It's a fine way to learn a subject. However, capture the flag rooms is not a roadmap. It's not a progressive way for you to build skills that will lead to a job. Yes, it can be entertaining. And yes, it will give you the dopamine of feeling that you've learned something. And yes, you have learned something. However, if you are serious about a career in cybersecurity, you need to do the challenging certification. You will need to do something like a AL1. And when you do, you will stand out. Now, contrast that with someone who does CompTIA CESA Plus. CESA Plus, yes, it's challenging. However, it's highly theoretical. To pass CESA Plus, you will need to memorize so many things that unfortunately you will forget as soon as you finish the certification. So to me, it's a no-brainer which one I will choose. And if you're worried about keywords and HR, then you can do something like CompTIA Security Plus. It's totally fine. And my preference would be to do CompTIA Security Plus at the end after you've gained practical skills because 
because it will make passing multiple choice exams a lot easier because you'll be familiar with those concepts instead of mindlessly trying to memorize things. Now, the next logical step for someone who have built some foundation and have gained some hands-on security operation center skill by doing something like Try Hack Me SAL1 is to broaden your skills a little bit to be a more well-rounded cybersecurity professional, which will open doors for you for jobs that want you to have more than one skill. For example, you may be hired as a cybersecurity analyst where you will be investigating some cybersecurity incidents, but you will also be expected to conduct security risk assessments or to be part of a compliance program. This is collectively referred to as GRC, which is Governance, Risk and Compliance, which makes the third training provider that I recommend for you is GRC Mastery. You can access it on grcmastery.com. This will give you a structured way to gain GRC skills using practical hands-on lab and practical reports from companies in the real world. But you'll also gain skills in industry standard frameworks like the NIST cybersecurity framework. And you'll also be a certified ISO 27001 lead auditor. Now, again, for those who don't want to be GRC professionals, that's perfectly fine. That's why we're going to select one training platform because with GRC Mastery, you will gain enough GRC skills that will enable you to either work as a GRC professional, but also as a technical cybersecurity professional where you are expected to gain some GRC skills. Now, other notable GRC certifications could be something like ISACA C-RISC or even ISACA CISM. They used to require you to have five years of experience before doing them, but I think now it's three years of experience. Either way, those are not certifications where you will learn something. Those are simply exams that will test your knowledge in a subject. Unfortunately, they are highly theoretical and the questions in the exams don't actually reflect the real world. But for those of you who want to progress deeper into GRC, then they can be a fine choice. However, whether you decide to stay in GRC or you want to progress further into being a SOC analyst or even a penetration tester, then the next platform actually covers all of that, which is the fourth platform, Hack the Box. Now, Hack the Box has a reputation to be difficult, and I kind of agree with this sentiment, kind of disagree with this sentiment. It is difficult if you come from theoretical multiple choice stuff. In fact, everything will be difficult for you. But if you've progressively followed the steps that I laid out, then you will have an easier time with Hack the Box. Now, Hack the Box traditionally was meant to be a penetration testing platform, but they've actually expanded and they've recently acquired a platform called Let's Defend, which I've recommended previously in my channel. Now, the way I want you to use Hack the Box or Let's Defend is, as you may have already guessed, by doing certification rather than spending endless time with Capture the Flags. Now, as far as certifications are concerned, they actually have a beginner level certification called CJCA, which is quite unique because it combines blue teaming and red teaming. Now, in my opinion, it's a great follow up from TryHackMe SAL1 because you get to review some of the blue teaming stuff that you've learned whilst at the same time challenge yourself with newer problems but it will also introduce you to penetration testing. Now, you don't have to become a professional penetration tester, but the knowledge that you will gain will actually be useful and transferable whether you decide to be a SOC analyst or a GRC professional. And the good thing is, with that broad foundation, you can progress into more intermediate level stuff. Within Hack the Box, you can do their flagship blue teaming certification, which is CDSA, or their hacking certification, which is CPTS. Now, just a little bit of warning, both of these certifications are labeled intermediate, Yet, however, I believe they are quite advanced. So expect to be really, really challenged. And it's quite common for people not to pass the first time. So chances are you might fail the first time. That's perfectly fine. We all fail exams. It's not the end of the world. You just know that you need to keep going and try again because it's meant to be challenging. And guess what? This is exactly how you stand out in the job market. You'll be confident in your skills. And as a result, you will apply to more jobs. And psychologically, you will do so much better in interviews. And trust me, as hiring managers we know. If you know your stuff, it's really, really easy for us to see that. Now, are there other certifications within the blue teaming and the hacking world that are great? Yes. We can't mention ethical hacking without mentioning the famous Offensive Security OSCP. Now, Hack the Box CPTS is actually harder than OSCP, which means you will have an easier time when you do OSCP after Hack the Box. And of course, there is INE EJPT, which is an entry-level penetration testing certification that I personally love because it's a great introduction 
coming to the world of ethical hacking that's actually really useful for SOC analysts and even GRC professionals. Now, for those of you who want to go to the absolute next level and really, really challenge yourself, then the fifth platform is where you will be spending a lot of time, which is Cyber Defenders. Now, Cyber Defenders is a truly challenging platform. They have their flagship certification, which is Certified Cyber Defender. This, in my opinion, is an advanced SOC analyst certification. Expect to be really challenged, but also expect to gain some serious incident response and digital forensic skills. In fact, when I reviewed this certification, I had a giveaway and shout out to Jose who won the giveaway. He did that certification and he said that he failed that exam the first time he took it, even though Jose already has Try Hack Me SAL1 and Hack the Box CDSA. So trust me when I tell you this, Cyber Defenders is a truly challenging platform and it will make you a much better cybersecurity professional. Now, before you go and ask me what about this certification or about that platform, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm fully aware that there are other certifications and platforms that are great. But if your goal is to land a cybersecurity job and do well, then these are the platforms that I recommend for you that have actually worked for countless of individuals from all over the world and has led them to land their first cybersecurity job. And for those of you who have done some of those, or maybe even you finished all of those and you want a little bit more, then in this video right here, I show you a number of cybersecurity projects that will give you practical skills. And I also show you how to add them to your resume. Check it out and I'll see you there.